There is something about who we are since the beginning of time where we've sat around fires and danced and told and painted and sung our stories. It's how we communicate and particularly when things get hard, we turn to these beautiful mechanisms for expression. Artists are crucial to make kind of forward momentum. COVID has made that all so much more visible. Hi, my name is Katie Dawson and I am a teaching artist. My undergraduate degree was in theater, but while I was studying theater, I also took a lot of courses in education. Uh, after graduation, I worked quite a bit as a professional actor on stage and television and film. I call myself a teaching artist because so much of my practice, experience, and training really reflects the kinds of things that teaching artists do. I think teaching artists do such powerful work in education and in community settings. The young people are developing those ideas with us. So again, this isn't a curriculum we're bringing in and putting on top of them, but they're actually learning the tools themselves and then co-designing the sequences that they might lead back in their classroom, or at minimum, their teachers, their school leaders will lead back in their classroom. Um, a couple words I describe, I would connect to working with Katie would be collaboration and cooperation. Another one is interesting, like it's different from your everyday learning with just a textbook. Learning and leading, so every now and then you will you'll be teaching your peers and maybe even the teacher and maybe even the teacher. Educator who knows teaching and learning deeply and this is evidenced through the relationship she builds with learners, whether they're adult learners or student learners. For many years, about 10 years, I was working in an ongoing two-week, once-a-year residency in the northern interior of Alaska with the Koyukon Athabascan community. And one year when I was up there, the teacher said, oh, you know, our, our elementary students are really struggling with the literacy curriculum. We need them to practice writing and, and reading but um, they're really disengaged. So much of the stories aren't about their Koyukon Athabascan background. Is there something we might be able to do? And they wrote short little paragraphs um, about what it meant to live in their community. And then they helped us just put it together and figure out an order. And we made a little movie that covered all of the literacy standards we needed to do about writing and reading, but it was all generated from their own work and experience. A real win. For the students and a great example of critical, creative, collaborative, communicative practice in education. So for the past two years, I have been partnering with the U.S. Embassy in Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, as a teaching artist, my job has been to uh, develop and lead uh, training programs for classroom teachers who teach English uh, either at the elementary, middle, high school level or at the university. Um, the project has been about helping to upskill local teachers and teaching artists to understand how to use these drama and teaching skills to work with other teachers, um, to build capacity in the region for this kind of educational innovation and change. It's really wonderful to see people who maybe care a lot about teaching, but have gotten kind of beaten down by the, by the sheer effort involved, come to one of Katie's workshops and sort of find their joy in teaching again through the exercises and activities that she teaches them that will further engage their students. Great, what are we seeing with this movement? 
Unfortunately, in a post-conflict country such as Bosnia and Herzegovina, education is still quite traditional. Uh, I would say it's still teacher-oriented. Um, our educational systems are fragmented because the country is um, still divided. Uh, our official languages are different, um, depending on the entity. I'm sure that Professor Katie Dawson is not aware of all the impacts she has had on all the educators who participated in Applied Drama Institute in uh, 2019. Um, I believe that all of us working together because it does offer um, a unique um, and innovative uh, learning experience. I also think of art as a verb. It's the critical and creative process that the artist uses to get to that song, dance, play. And the art making is the process of that expression, the inquiry, engagement, research and experimentation, and growth and discovery. Those are the words I think about when I think of art. This is the time when we need artists more than ever. If you think about what's giving you hope right now during this pandemic, it's probably a song that reminds you of a happier time or calls you towards justice. We look at a blank canvas, we look at an empty stage, we stand in front of our musical instrument. Somehow we create something that is entirely new.